Yep, and then uh, there's the pyramid behind me riding on a horse. Uh, he became my, my manager and then, and we became number one. This here, we all got induct inducted at the same time in 1996. No stranger to pain, WWE Hall of Famer, the unpredictable Johnny Rods, has been knocked down, but rises back up. After a nearly 40-year career, the former heavyweight champ faces a new opponent outside the ring, silent and deadly. All of a sudden, I got this, uh, this feeling about breathing that, wow, I couldn't breathe. This 81-year-old Staten Island resident suffered a heart attack, but not just any. He was exhibiting symptoms of what we call congestive heart failure. That means you get short of breath, you get fatigued very easily, you get swelling in your legs. And he had progressed quite rapidly to what we call class 4 congestive heart failure. Johnny's heart was not pumping blood properly. His coronary arteries blocked. At the time, Johnny was traveling on a family road trip when all of a sudden, something felt off. I knew more or less to relax, put my, my chest this way. It took me a good 10 minutes. That was just one of the episodes Johnny experienced. By the time Dr. Shahani saw him, Johnny's heart function was at a mere 15%. Once it gets less than 20, 25%, we stop counting a number because it gets scary. The fact that he was an athlete and had done so much physical work in his life gave him a little bit of an advantage, at least in some part. But he had a history of high blood pressure, a history of diabetes. He was an ex-smoker. The only thing that he didn't have was that typical uh, dramatic chest pain. So we just operated on him the next day. I told him, I said, if you want to take a chance, I'll be happy just to do it. The unpredictable Johnny Rods suffered from silent ischemia, a lack of adequate and oxygenated blood to the heart. In the U.S., there are over 800,000 heart attacks each year, with a projected 170,000 of them silent, according to the American Heart Association. Johnny Rods, World Unpredictable Club of Pro Wrestling. You see? Dr. Shahani says, uh, I'm ready for you. And they, the guy beat the hell out of me. Not everybody could take a broken down uh, uh, person that almost should have died already and then bring him back to life. Is there anything that you want folks, New Yorkers, to take away from this using Johnny as an example? I, I think so. I think the most important thing is that if something's not right, don't just push it under the rug. Acknowledge it in your body. Your body always gives you a warning. So heed that warning. He's brand new, he's brand new, and ah, ah! So where's Johnny now? Well, you can find him at Gleason's Gym in Brooklyn, back in the ring with a new challenge. And uh, my wrestling name is Wildman Redberry. And I wrestle as country boy to wrestle as Gary Post. Diego Bautista. Matthew is Jean. Mentoring the next generation of pro wrestlers. Being trained by Johnny Rod. It's fun, you know, you just come in, you just uh, sit at the foot of the master and, you know, and you bow and you just let the training happen. <laughs> For NBC New York, I'm Linda Gaudino.